19 February 2014, the two-year-old male dwarf hamster has been dragging its left hind leg for the past five days and has been brought to Tobio Vets three days ago. Today, I'm checking on this hamster. The weight is 57 grams. The hamster has been on steroids to reduce the swelling and the swelling has gone down. The swelling has been see is on the left hip area left hip area and that's that's why the hamster can't walk properly because you can see it's dragging his uh, left limb okay you can some people go back there and uh, that's why the owner is concerned okay now you can see this lump on the left upper on the left on top of the hip as compared to the right right there is no no lump here and this is the hip and on the left on the left hip there is a lump a big swelling actually so this big swelling is likely a subcutaneous tumor subcutaneous tumor and uh, the solution is to remove it but the problem is that this hamster is quite old and the tumour or the lump is so huge that uh, the muscles may be involved. So that's the reason I, I hospitalised it for three days to give antibiotics and anti-inflammatory to reduce it, to re reduce the heart swelling. Now this heart swelling is unlikely to be an abscess. Of course, uh, it's possible that it's an abscess too. So only by surgery, under anesthesia, do we know what it is? But as you can see, the hamster can walk normally actually. He can walk normally, but it's no more dragging now because of the drug. So you have to the owner has to take a take a just focus on the take take a decision as regards the anesthetic risk. Because it's it's a great risk since the hamster is quite old and uh, I have to call the owner today and uh, see what she she thinks about it because sometimes the hamster will just pass away after the surgery due to due to the hamster being old and unable to to take the stress of anesthesia. But if you don't operate, the hamster can't walk properly and then the lung will be growing bigger and bigger so so there's really uh, not much choice as far as uh, the owner is concerned so I will call the owner today and uh, let her know again that uh, this lump this huge lump is uh, is actually a large one and uh, there's a significant risk of the hamster dying during the operation and if the lump has involved the muscles of the hip, then obviously you can't, you can't uh, operate, it becomes inoperable. Okay, so this is the situation. If the lump is operable and the hamster survives, then they will have a lease of life, you see. If not, then uh, if not, then uh, they will pass away on the operating table. So this is why uh, it is important to let the owner know the risk and uh, overall it's quite a nice hamster it doesn't bite anybody and uh, it's lost a lot of weight actually he was he was uh, heavier at the time he came in three days ago he was around 61 grams now he's 57 so he lost four grams and uh, he's still eating he's still eating and drinking and the enter is quite active now. So you have to wait and see February 19, 2014, 12 Okay.